channel I do hope you're doing well so first off I'm going to apologize that I am not done up as usual for our home bargains hauls and um, my lovelies it is Saturday the 1st of October <gasps> half past three in the afternoon as I'm filming this because holiday dramas so I thought I'd have a bit more time to film this to be perfectly honest with what I was told yesterday but no touch wood everything seems back on track so we have got a home bargains haul but I'm not gonna lie I've just had to do a C test because I felt really down I think I'm just run down to be perfectly honest um got a slight temperature which is great um got the sniffles <laughs> got a really sore throat I think that's from excessive crying and screaming um but I'm all good it's come back negative we're all good so I thought you know what you've seen me worse than this you will see me a lot worse than this in the pamper video aka meltdown looming and i thought you know what it is a huge haul and it's autumn it's cozy we're gonna embrace the more natural look because that's what autumn's all about well to be honest it's embracing the natural look all year round ain't it you barely see me with makeup on apart from a few hauls here and there but yes rabbiting as always i feel very autumnal spooky we've got all the new bedding all the cushions are out the hair is curled courtesy of mama g last night and the bag is that feel that i've had to put me old doggy friend to stop the bag tipping forward because can you just see it is full of orangey goodness so my lovelies let's get in with a haul because i know it's going to be a blooming big one <laughs> right so i'm gonna start <laughs> right all of this was bought on a lunchtime break, okay? I'm getting quite good at lunchtime home bargain shops. I am in and around like supermarket sweep on a whole nother level. So this was all got on one lunch. And not going to lie, when I saw this, I just couldn't help myself. And my friend who I was with was like, no. And I was like yes i need this in my life they had the glasses in black as well but i went with orange a bit more spooky vibe my love this this was two pound it's part of the haunted house collection and it is a skeleton arm shot glass holder and it's got five skull glasses on and it's in the shape of a hand i'm sorry how blooming fantastic is this whenever i move out and have my own house parties Yes, I will be that person who will have a Halloween party. Maybe not a party, maybe just like takeaway and drinks and scary films. That's probably more like games night. That's probably more of I vibe. I love this. And so my friend was not amused and I was just like, hmm, I don't need your negativity. Because I liked it. They did have it, as I say, with black glasses. I thought I did want both. I'm not going to lie. I did contemplate getting both because I thought five shots. But to be honest, will I ever have more than five people around? Well, four people not really not really indeed so yeah that was the first thing and there's quite a lot of halloween stuff <laughs> themed in here because my store actually had a hell of a lot of good stuff honestly i was very very impressed along the same lines i saw this again they was not impressed I, was, I don't care this was a two pound once again and it's ghost pong so you know like beer pong or gym pong Basically, it's just plastic cups with ghost stickers on. But I just saw it and absolutely loved it. It has 12 cups and two ping pong balls. Drink up. The ghoulish game is full of fun and tricks. Oh, my God, my love is. I just needed it. When I saw it and it was two pound, I thought, you know what? I've done a lot of blooming overtime this month. I want to treat myself. I want some shots and I want beer pong. Well, ghost pong. Yes, a lot of good stuff. So if you are someone who does Halloween parties or anything like that, I'm jealous or if say maybe you have a birthday within October and you want to maybe spice it up and have a little bit of spooky games check out home bargains because they are knocking it out the park right I feel like I need these now I've got some sweeties Feeny or Finite I don't quite know how you say it this is the brand that I know you get at airports because I got some when god 2019 when I last went away I got some abroad then this was how many grams is this i think it's is it a kilo no 400 grams sorry my love this my measurements are way off and it is a sour boom mix now i think this was one pound 50 or two pound but i have been really craving sour sweets i don't know why because i'm not really normally a sour type of girl but i saw these and i was like 
that get in, that get straight in the trolley. You haven't even got to ask me. They had an original one, but I just fancied going for the sour one. And I know that they will stay mine because Mama G doesn't like sour stuff, so they are well and truly my sweets. Fantastic. Oh, God. And sorry, as I say, I think I have got a few of the sniffles. We've been a bit run down. But hey-ho. I got a candle. I know what you're going to say, Shan, you don't get candles. I thought we'd try it, okay? This was £1.39, I believe. And it is a Wickford & Co. You know I always love them for their tea lights. Tea lights and reed diffusers. However, I thought I would give the candle a go. Because as I filmed this 1st of October, the prices have all gone up. My price, we've just checked the meter. It's already gone up £1.40 in a day. We're only like three quarters of the way through the day. So I have no idea what is going on. So candles are going to be my best friend for me heating. And I've got block notes and I can still smell this. Pumpkin chai. We all know I love myself some pumpkin spice latte. Not going to lie. I had a chai latte from Costa the other day. Oh, it was well too overpowering for me. I like chai. I like my chai latte um, Dolce Gusto pods that I have for the coffee machine. And I got one at Costa and I took a few sips and I was like, I've made a terrible mistake. I forgot with chai you have to kind of like ease yourself in in a way because it can be very overpowerful and almost spicy. And this was very spicy. My friend thought it was absolutely hilarious because I probably had about four mouthfuls and that was it. So luckily it was one of my free drinks so I didn't actually pay for it. But nevertheless, mm. however, Tesco Caf have started doing their own pumpkin spice latte. If you haven't got a Starbucks near you, which we don't have near our work, now when I fancy a PSL, I can just go to Tesco Caf. But yeah, I liked it because it had the little cute picture on. It smells gorgeous. And it's orange. I'm going to have to make sure mum don't burn this while I'm away. Because that wouldn't be very fair, would it? I'd be like, mother, that is mine for my return. I can't even take candles abroad with me. Because I have a feeling that like they would get stopped at the other end and be classed as like a dangerous item or something. Don't want to chance anything to put me in a firing line for, like, getting detained or anything abroad. Can you just imagine? That would just actually be my luck. So we're not going to put that out there. I'm not going to take me candles. I can take me candles when I go to my log cabins. Abroad, the candles stay here. Right. We've got a lot of stuff in here, my lovelies. Like, as you can see, the bag is overflowing today. We've had a good little trip. Right. I'm so excited to try this. So Home Bargains have started doing a lot of American drinks. I don't know why, and it all seems to be based around the Dr. Pepper brand. I think I've got one in there. It's either a vanilla or a cream soda. But this is Dr. Pepper Cherry. Now, I don't know if we have Dr. Pepper Cherry. I thought Dr. Pepper was kind of cherry. Let me know. Am I actually being silly? But I don't know. I'm actually going to open this now because, say, I'm absolutely parched. And this was 99p. So, oh. It's not like your usual 49 ps You do pay a bit more, but it is still a lot cheaper than what you would pay in, like, the American uh, candy stores. Have I just paid because it's got different packaging? Dr. Pepper, carbonated cherry flavoured soft drink. That tastes no different to a normal Dr. Pepper in the black can. I actually think I've just paid a pound because it's got different packaging. Um, okay, so that is, I'd say that's normal Dr. Pepper, my lovelies. I feel a bit cheated out of that because Dr. Pepper is normally about 49p a can. And I've paid a quid. <laughs> Home bargain is trying to do me dirty like that. Right, got some gravy. We all know my lovelies. Please don't fall, thank you. Stew weather, casserole weather, broth, everything. Soups, the whole shebang. Needed gravy. Oh, we've gone very light. Why have we gone so light, Cannon? You'll darken up when you see these in a minute. So I picked up a regular beef and a regular onion. However, these have gone up a bit. I think they're about a quid now. They only used to be about 79p. So I don't quite know what's going on there, but they normally have chicken gravy. I didn't see any of that, but if I go next month, pick some up, because I like to have a good selection of gravies for my shoes and casseroles. I used to have a pork gravy, I think, and a lamb gravy. 
but maybe they're like more just Easter time bits and bobs. So yes, I've got two bits of gravy, fan dabby dozy, and then oh, one of you tagged me in this, and I was like, right, when I go home, Barkins, I need to be on the hunt for these. I walked in, and when I say I squealed, I squealed. It was a set of three. I did want to buy all three. The adult in me stuck at one. And my friend told me to stick at one. So I was just kind of like, I can't be dealing with any negativity in the car on the way back, okay, if I pick up all three. But I went for the Hello Pumpkin one. So it's got these gorgeous autumnal leaves, but it's still got a little pumpkin on it. So you can still have it for Halloween. They had one with a squirrel on and one with a hedgehog on. They were four pound, but they feel such great quality. Something like that you would get from HomeSense or TK Maxx. And I think you could have this as a mug, but I personally would have it as a perfect soup bowl. Perfect little soup bowl. And oh my god, Canon. Oh my lovelies, you know what I'm gonna say, didn't you? We're only like 10 items deep and you're already flashing on me. Okay, let me change this battery because I know this is probably gonna be one of the longest home bargains hauls of this year, okay? Let me change the battery. <laughs> well, I'm hoping there's no more interruptions from you, Canon. Very rude. Right. <laughs> there is actually so much. I don't know what to go through. So, oh, everything's just falling. Isn't that blooming fantastic? I kind of got suckered into the autumnal Halloween vibes once again. You know me, my lovelies. My car A gold or my car T, however you say it. These are standard. Ten sachets for a quid. I got the caramel latte. Because mum is actually partial to these sachets now. So I can guarantee these won't be here when I come back off holiday. But I thought going along like the orange theme. We're going to go with that. And oh, I got a new little wax knot holder. This was £2 I believe. one ninety nine, one seventy nine, 79 Under 2 quid. They did have it in a pumpkin as well. But I quite like the ghost. And you even get a little wax melt with it. From the Haunted House range. And it's called Screamberry Punch. So I'm assuming it's going to be uh, nice and fruity. But as I say, I think that I will unwrap this when I come home off holiday the first night. Light a nice wax melt. Have a nice candle. This could potentially go in the bathroom. Oh my god, yes, this is going to be my new bathroom wax melt burner. That's going to be so cute. Honestly, they had so much. You can imagine, right? I had all them three mugs. We had all the big arms and the ghost pong and the wax melt burners. And they had pumpkin jars and pumpkin mugs but i did control myself i think if i got any more mugs i don't think there's well there's not really room in the house for the mugs that i've got already it would have been a bit catastrophic so we done all right with them okay <laughs> oh my god i had to get another edition my lovelies had to get a new little hanging edition sorry if this scares anyone it scared my friend when we was in there they don't like horror i found it hilarious because i actually wanted to uh go and get the larger one and hide it at work but no no fun you know guys look at this it is a bit scary so i'm gonna say fast forward 10 seconds if you don't like it but this was two pound 250 i'm gonna say kind of reminded me of the bits that i get from the range vibe i so said i'm just gonna put it down while i talk it just in case you don't like stuff like that but they had so many different styles they had clowns they had i think there was one that was like a werewolf design but i obviously went with i think they call this this is from a film why does it look familiar i think it's like a young girl her eyes are blotted out potentially possessed and she's got like a little Beetlejuice outfit on. So yeah, I don't quite know where I'm going to hang her though. Part of me was thinking to keep her in the car. <laughs> I was going to perhaps put it in the boot. And then next time I went out for lunch, say to my friend to like get sank from the boot and just see their reaction. But I honestly think like they might cause me serious harm if I did that. So, yeah, probably not. I'm going to have to find somewhere to hang it in my room. Maybe I'll hang it on a hanger. That could be it was saying that I ain't got room for the clothes in the wardrobe on a hanger, let alone putting a little doll in. We'll find somewhere. We'll find somewhere for my lovelies. Did get one diffuser. Now, I don't think this is technically autumnal. But it's warm and scent. It's kind of like baking, ain't it? I got a Wickford & Co. Warm Apple and Cinnamon Rediffuser. As I say... This is probably more festive, but it's burgundy. I'm in burgundy, so we're going to go along the lines that it's autumnal. 
I think this will go in the kitchen because it's apple and cinnamon. It's like a nice little one to have while you're cooking away, eh? And as I say, I cannot wait for baking. That's what I want to do. When I come back, it's all about the stews. It's all about the casseroles with the dumplings. Nice thick soups. If you haven't already, yesterday's video was when me and Mama G went pumpkin picking. And of course, we do a big batch of pumpkin soup in there so you can see. See me in my element having pumpkin soup because honestly, I love making that. And it does not seem like a year ago that we was doing it. And I'll probably be saying the exact same thing next year. It just goes by way too quick. But yeah, stews, casseroles, soups, anything with the bread. Anything with the bread. Indeed. Talking about bread, I've got some more naan bread. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, good job I'm not opening that can. Um, These were, I think, 60p. I've had these before. Really, really nice. Six large white pita breads. You can put them in the oven or have them cold. I quite like just tearing these up. Tear them up in chunks, toast them for about three or four minutes, and have them with some hummus. Hummus, very, very nice. I like that. I like that indeed. So, again, also they're perfect if you're having, like, curries or anything like that. A nice little healthy alternative to just having, like, say, thick gnar breads. You know, like, the ones that are, like, covered in butter and, like, garlic bread that has all the good cheese on, which, I'm not going to lie, I would really prefer, but calorie wise and that i try and try and still stay good you know she says that as she gets a, a pack of croissants right <laughs> these were i think a pound or 79p they are five packs of croissants i thought there were seven i saw seven days that's a bit misleading ain't it i saw seven days and it's only five one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a bit misleading. I thought there was one for every day of the week. There's not. There's five. Okay, well, there's one for every work day of the week. Let's say that. And it's got chocolate and vanilla, cocoa and vanilla flavour fillings. Well, I was going to say that I would try one now, but I don't think I can because I want some for next week. Well, I'm not even here next week, but you know what? Ow. Oh, my lovelies, you know when you shave and everything just irritates you? And I've got really bad shaving rash on my arm because I went a little bit ham with the uh, razor. Cut my arm, cut the top of my wrist. That was absolutely fanatic. And, yeah, absolutely great. What's that? Is that Mama G out there causing a ruckus in the street? She's having a chinwag. Having a chinwag, eh? Mother, I'm trying to film, darling. But anyway, yes. Well... They weren't no more than a quid, so I don't feel too bad for paying 20p for a croissant. But yeah, it's very misleading. Seven days, and then you only give me five days worth of croissants. Huh. Right, got some snacks. Even though I'm not going to be here, which is absolutely great, I wanted some snacks. Now, part of me was thinking I wanted to take these on holiday with me. Yes, I'm that person that likes to take a treat away from home to a board. But no. We got this. This was one pound. You know, my lovelies, I've had these before. Shawa's chicken tikka little rice pot. I have had chicken korma before, but I fancy a chicken tikka. At least I know that when I come back, I've got lunches ready for work. I've still got a few little pots and bits from when I went to B&M last month. But yeah, that nice little stock up. And these, these are normally hella expensive in Tesco, okay? I think they're normally about is it £2 or two fifty? These were down to a quid, so I was like, whoo, straight in the trolley. Um, Smoky Barbecue Rib Stacks Doritos. It's basically Doritos doing a knockoff version of Pringles, ain't it? They just jumped on the bandwagon and said, well, ours ain't going to be a circular one. Ours going to be a triangle one. But I'm not going to lie, they taste fabulous, so I'm all here for it. And if it's half the price, absolutely, why wouldn't you go and get it? Oh, Lord, there's a lot of stuff in here, my lovelies. God, this haul's going to be forever. So we've got a few little cleaning bits. Mama Jean said she needed some scourers. Now, I don't know why, but my home bargains haven't had any, like, normal scourers for a while. They just have the ones that are kind of like the metal barbed wire that you put in pans and that. So I picked her these up, Scotch Bright. Scotch Bright Fresh. And it's a two-pack. I think these were 40p because I'm sure there may be another pack left in there. And then mum needed a little refill for the poof poof. And this was 99p. Got her one in true romance. Ylang Ylang and Rose. Which we all know I'm more of citrus. However, they haven't yet started getting the autumnal scents in. But they have Christmas scents. 
they already have i think it's frosted berries and i'm just like no where is my pumpkin spice latte i don't want to be having festivities just yet when i come back off holiday i'm gonna have two weeks left of october i actually do want to enjoy some part of halloween you know some part if i can right there's very big items in here okay what are we gonna do shannon lee oh you know how much i love this stuff madagascan vanilla syrup so this is natural flavoring they've changed their name sereno syrups i swear this used to be splendid syrups used to be in a plastic jar then it went to a uh, glass jar now they've changed their names oh well i don't care about the name because this is delightful i really enjoy the hazelnut one and the toffee caramel coming into these times of the months absolutely yes madagascan vanilla now my lovelies you can put this in coffees i wouldn't say put this one in water i had a candy floss one that i put in water once weren't too bad coffees pour over ice cream you can put in whipped cream you can put in cakes if you want an actual proper shot of like vanilla essence and you haven't got vanilla flavoring vanilla coffee syrup yes 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 please and for one pan for an actual glass jar they look very nice on the side of the uh coffee unit you know right <laughs> got another hand wash for mum oopsie this was 69p ineos ineos science and performance sea minerals it's for added moisturizers and purifying essential oils i just thought it looked really cute to be honest how does it smell though sea minerals oh very fresh you know like if you go to a um, swimming pool not chlorine -y, but just very fresh oh well mum can have that she'll like that and right don't don't ask me why i bought this i saw it it was a pound okay a pound for 10 sachets but they're gluten free now i don't think it's going to do me any harm having these being gluten free even though i'm not but i just thought for a quid why not 10 sachets helps lower cholesterol as well so i'm thinking about me health there me lovelies i am thinking about me health gluten free quaker oats let me know if if you're not gluten free but you eat gluten free stuff can it be bad for you let me know before I ingest these because I don't really fancy getting ill when I come back on holiday, you know? Right. I think we'll get one of the big things out because I've got two bigger things down the bottom. Everything's just falling. Buffalo, buffalo. You know what these are, didn't you? Buffalo triple power kitchen towels. Mum will not have anything else now. She loves a bit of buffalo. You get, how many sheets is it? 200, 210? 210 sheets per pack, strong when wet. Look at that. These, however, I think they're about 325 now. So everything is slowly creeping up a pound or so here and there. But yeah, it don't take her, well, I say it don't take her long. She probably goes through one, maybe a month, maybe six weeks, depending, depends what we cook. If she cooks something that's like, really messy and we need stuff 24 7 or like we're doing a lot of stuff or oh, spooky um if we're doing stuff say like um sausages or bacon stuff that you need to fry off and let drain then we tend to use a bit more but yeah not too bad oh god right hi my name is shannon and i'm an absolute child i saw this for 79p okay and oh, this is such a kiddie thing but i just really liked it it is a projection torch with five projection designs i'm gonna have so much fun if this actually works so you've got there you see on the discs there's like different things there's a pumpkin a skull a bat spider and it takes two double a batteries so that's two of the fat batteries ain't it unscrew the head insert replace the head and then put your thing on i don't know why i needed it i really don't i just saw it and the inner child in me was like oh, i want a projection torch and i saw it in orange i think they had orange green and purple i was like no orange orange for halloween so um yeah best believe if this goes well you'll probably be seeing that on the halloween vlog probably will be seeing that on the halloween vlog indeed because 
I just kind of couldn't help myself. And also what I couldn't help myself with was some more hand washes. You're thinking, Shanalee, you already have the pumpkin, the original pumpkin holder that you update. And didn't you buy one from B&M the other week? Yes. Yes, I did. But, my lovelies, don't worry, there's not just one. I've got another one in there as well, because I actually couldn't choose between the pair of them. So, this was a little hand wash in the shape of a little ghost. This was £1.20, I think. Haven't a clue what it smells like. I didn't get that far. I just saw and picked them up and loved them. Oh, it's like linen. Even though I've got block nines, I can still smell it. That's very fresh. So um, we've got more than enough. Mum can have one in the kitchen. She can have one in the bathroom. She can even put two in the kitchen and bathroom if she really wanted to. We've got that many. Um, But yeah, I love that. I said these are always handy because if I move out and I'm lucky enough to have a little en suite, at least I've got two sets. But then I have also got my hedgehog set that I got from Asda, didn't I? But that's for autumn. September would be autumn, October would be Halloween, so then all the uh, plastic ghosts and pumpkins could come out. That it could indeed. My lovelies, right, what am I going to round off on the last one? Last one for this half. What are we going to go for, Shan? Sunny D. Oh, this brings back such nostalgia. I couldn't say that word then. Nostalgia. It kind of went like, no, <laughs> like, no nostalgia. Sunny D. One pound this was one pound i absolutely loved it and then my friend looked at it and looked at the sugar or something and was like <gasps> no and i was like i don't need your negativity let me have some tangy florida citrus edition sunny d okay okay no negativity this is just childhood in a cup in it absolute childhood blooming love it and yeah 20 calories per 250 ml fabulous i don't need to look at all the uh, bits and bobs on the back it tastes good bellissimo you know and my lovelies i'm actually gonna sit down have a little few sips of me uh dr pepper that i feel i've been very cheated on and let's get back with part two which has got some very interesting bits for halloween eve let's just say that so there's actually not a lot left in the bag but they're big items so maybe it won't be such a long haul okay i don't want you all sitting there getting bored of me right I know we've got tinsel, but I couldn't say no. It's stuck. What are you stuck on? Come on. I couldn't say no because my lovelies, it's got pumpkins on it. You know the tinsel we had from the range has got skulls and ghosts on it, ain't it? It's got pumpkins. This was one pound. One pound for a tinsel, black tinsel, with orange flakes and orange pumpkins they also had it in purple and orange i believe but you know me i went classic you could actually probably wear this as like a necklace couldn't you you know what i really want and i've seen so many people do them one of my lovely subscribers i speak to her on tiktok and instagram she's done her own christmas tree for halloween oh my god it's amazing i need a black christmas tree when i move out so that i can have it as a halloween tree okay just gonna throw that out there i would like a little book corner for when I can read in my own place with a tree that I can decorate all year round. I don't think that's too much to ask, is it? It probably is. Shannon, you're living in an absolute delusional dream world, darling. But hey, a girl can dream. Because if you ain't got dreams, what have you got? Probably a mental breakdown, knowing me. So I have to have something probably out of this world to focus on just to keep me going, you know? It's just the little things. We'll go with that. Right, there are so many cans of drinks in here that I think I'm not going to be able to open for eternity because they're upside down and inside out. Upside down. Boy, you turn me inside out. I've been suckered again. I've bought more Dr. Peppers. Right, I clearly saw all these Dr. Peppers and just thought absolutely fantastic. But I'm not going to lie, my lovelies, there is actually no difference. There's no difference in that one. That one's a cherry. Oh, Footloose is awake. Um, maybe there might be some difference in these. So I've got a Dr. Pepper and cream soda and a Dr. Pepper dark berry. So I'm not going to open these now because obviously I've got a drink there. But I'll probably, once I come back off holiday, if I do a vlog or anything, why do I feel like I'm going to sneeze? No, you're good, Sham. 
I think I'm good. When I come back and we do our vlogs, stay tuned because I will open these whenever we do a vlog and give you a verdict. Because for one pound, okay, maybe that because it's cream soda and that dark berry, but Dr. Pepper is cherry, so I don't see how you can sell a cherry drink as cherry. A little bit of concerning to say the least. All right, concerning to say the least. Oh my goodness, but look what I did pick up. Absolute staple for your cupboards. They do normally have sun-dried tomatoes, but I don't think I picked any up. They might not have had any. Grilled peppers. You know these, my lovelies. As I say, sun-dried tomatoes as well. They are one pound. I thought the lid had come off then. I was going to say, absolutely fantastic. These are great to chuck on salads, to put in um, spag bowls if you haven't got any fresh peppers, and also homemade pizzas. I was extremely gutted because I didn't have any pizza bases. So I said to mum, when I'm away, if you go out to Home Bargains and you see the pizza bases, pick up a couple of boxes for us, please. Because these on top, and just homemade pizzas in general, are yummy. I can't remember what um, vlog i done it on. But, yeah, 10 out of 10. Creme de la creme. What is going on with my phone? Please know. Ow. I've cut myself. I say, when I was shaving my arms, I've gone a bit ham on there. I cut myself on my nail file, my glass nail file, when I was doing my nails. I'm just feeling very battered and bruised. Very battered and bruised. And you wouldn't think that I've got... Well, oh my goodness. Oh, I've got like 12 hours before I have to leave for the airport. I've still got three more videos to do. I've still got a pack. If you see some videos of me where I look like a shambles, please remember it's the day before I go away on holiday. So just give me that, okay? Just give me that. Thank you very much. If you see me looking like Curly Sue, like I do... Curly Sue, run around, no it's run around Sue isn't it, that's the song but Curly Sue's the saying, if you see me looking like this you know, girlsleftitlastminute.com, right, let's have a look, picked up another one of these because your girl got the pina colada one last month and she blooming loved it, okay, blooming loved it, it is the Parrot Bay Frozen, I got a passion fruit capriana and it says a passion fruit spirit flavour drink, I think it's rum, was it rum or does it not tell me? I don't think it tells me. But I think Cipriana is rum. These are 79p. They do so many. They do margaritas, Manhattans, Long Island teas, daiquiri. I had Pina Colada, Cosmo I saw. But yeah, just a fun little thing. I know we're coming out of the summer months. But like an alcoholic slush puppy. Who, who doesn't going to love that? Who doesn't going to love that? Who isn't going to love that? That's what you meant to say. God, I'm getting like a rambling baboon, ain't I? God, I'm getting like a rambling buffoon, ain't I? Um, <laughs> you're definitely going to moan at me for this. Did I need this? No. Am I going to take this on holiday? No. Did I see it and think I want it? Yes. Did I see it was a pound and four? Yes. I got another shower gel. But I've never seen this one. It is the Carex sin amazing popcorn now i haven't smelt this because i literally just picked it up and went in can i smell it through a blocked nose let's have a look shut up no way they had the matching hand wash of this and i thought i won't get the hand wash just in case it ain't good <gasps> right let me clean my nose Oh my god. You know what? I ain't been I can't remember last time I've been cinema. I think it was when me and mum went to see Elvis. I want to go to cinema. There's a new horror film called Smile. I really want to see that. But none of my friends like horror. Like, come on. I want to go see horror. My friends don't like horror and my mum don't like horror. And I think it's a bit sad if I go and see a horror on my own. Just on the off chance that I got scared, I'm gonna be on my own. Yeah. That's fun, isn't it? If you've seen Smile or know when it's coming out, I think it's coming out middle of October. I keep seeing the trailers of it, so it must be near. This is amazing. Fun edition. You are fun indeed. For one pound as well. Let me just, can I just take the whole top off? Oh. Oh, it's not like the other one where you can turn it or thing. It just literally turns all the way around. Oh, okay then. Oh. Okay, then we'll leave it like that. But yes, that is very nice. Very nice indeed. I've got another double dutch. Because I got some of these last month and I blooming loved them. Ginger ale. Mm -mm. I have had this with a few little rums. 
yes, you can always have a little bit of a drink in the run up to uh, the holiday. Just getting, getting used to a bit of intoxication, you know. But yeah, love these. 29p. You know me, I normally have the cucumber and watermelon mixer, which I have for my gins. But I did try a few others. And what I did get, I think this was 110 I got some more of the double lemons. I think I got these singularly last month and absolutely love it. So I saw it in a pack and I was like, saves me carrying four loose bottles. You can just literally pick it up and go. Imagine turning up to a function with these. Like, hey, people think you've got like wine or something. You're like, actually, no, it's a mixer. I've turned up with a mixer. It is a premium mixer, yeah. I was thinking it said they're a bit of lemon. It's not, it's double lemon. But yeah, these are very nice. Again, with gin. Tankery number 10 gin, which is what I'm loving at the moment. Let's put that there because it's going to end up falling belly up and hurting me again. I don't need to be hurt anymore, do I? Right. Let's get the rest of the drinks out of the way and then there's a lot. There's quite still a lot of good stuff in here, which I'm very excited about. So we've got some Fanta. Fanta Limon. This is for Mama G. This was 49p. So we're back to the 49p drinks. All right, my lovelies. And then this one, I think was maybe 80p. Haven't heard of the brand though. A&W Cream Soda. Giving me very American vibes again. Okay. And with this sticker on the back, that totally reminds me of like American shops, like the American candy stores. So have Home Bargains been taking some bits from American candy stores? Who knows? wet the whistle you know and then these are returning favorite i don't need to tell you anymore 50p 50p for 755 meals of basically a power raid and a gatorade dupe this is a berry one this is a lemon one you cannot go wrong these are great for if i'm going on a run i'll put them into my little running bottle just something to like break up the flavor of water you know give yourself something a little bit different and then I'm going to try and put my head in the bag. These were, I think, 79p. We get these every year. They're so standard. Have they melted, though? Oh, no. It's just the bottom. I'm thinking, how has it melted? I ain't even been uh, warm. 79p. You know the little classic standard chockies? Choc lollies that normally go in the sweet buckets, which we haven't actually done our sweet buckets yet this year. I know me and Mum are, like, trying to be good, but... Still want some type of sweets. We'll have to wait till I come back. I really want to come back and maybe have some Krispy Kreme donuts. Because was it last year when they had the Krispy Kreme Halloween donuts we tried? Or was it Christmas? I can't remember. I remember trying Krispy Kreme donuts for Sam. And then, oh my God. Yes, I know we're coming into winter. But normally I use this for iced tea. I'm going to use this for hot tea. This is one pound quench if you see this get it if you're like me and you love a lemon iced tea like lipton don't be paying that money make your own i make batches upon batches of this in the summer and in the winter it's very nice because if you are a bit nasally like i am now put it in a bit of hot water you are good to go okay you are good to go as it says delicious iced or hot and it gives you different amounts so if you just want to do a cup or if you want to do like a whole uh, jug's worth it tells you which measurements to go in there I've been getting that probably since one of my very first hauls. If you remember or you are regular, you'll know how much I rave about that. And I cannot say it enough. Please do not pay the prices of Lipton. You can make it on your own for a fraction of the price, okay? A fraction. I told you there was another one. <laughs> I got the pumpkin one. Now, I hope this don't smell the same because then otherwise it's like B&M. And I've been robbed. But because I didn't have time to smell this... Oh, no, this is different. This is fruity. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. Oh, right. So that is more my style. Mum will probably like the ghost one because it's like linen. That is fruity. That is like what I imagine the wax melt, the screen berry punch to smell like. Same price as the ghost. Could I decide? No, I just saw them both. And they just went straight in the trolley. Straight in the trolley. Picked another box of sweets up for Dada. Two pound for Dexter's gummy mix. We all know. He loves his sweeties. So yes, that should uh, keep him going for while I'm away until I next go to the bargain shop. And then, right, these are, I'm very excited about these bits, but I don't know where to start. 
start with this. I've got some more trays. Did I need them? No. Did I see them and love them? Yes. This one, if I remember correctly, was about one ninety nine. They had it in different colours, but again, I like the orange theme. You might not be able to tell with me, with orange pumpkins in the back. I like orange at Halloween. And it's just kind of like a little snack plate. You can put fruit in it, you can put snacks in it, you can put some sauce in the middle, you can do what you want. I just really like gimmicky stuff like this. I don't think I'm ever going to grow up away from it. Because growing up late 90s, everything at Christmas or a party was in these types of plastic dishes. And now, even at Christmas, if mum has like um, snacks and pretzels and all that, if she brings that in a normal bowl, I'm like, where's the plastic? Because then I can just help myself and mix and match. I could have one tray with one, two, three, four, six different options instead of having to go and get six bowls. Think of the washing up. This is kind of just like a Shannon snack plate size. Let's be perfectly honest. And then I've got this one. This was 79p. Don't really know why I needed it, but I saw it was a pumpkin and I thought, oh, that's cute. That's cute. Maybe to put some sweets on. It's not really a serving. Well, it could be a serving platter. But yeah. 79p, I just had to get it. I was like, oopsie. Right. You're probably thinking, Shan, you've already got these. I know, but they're slightly different. So I picked up this spider's web, which was £1.20, I believe. And this one is gold. Well, orange again. And I think the little spiders on there light up. I'm going to try it out tonight, because if they do, that is blooming amazing for £1.20. But I liked it because of the goldy orange tinsel. The ones that we have from the range are black with purple um, spiders on. So I'm sure it said that these glow in the dark. Of which, if it does, let's say for £1.20, absolutely fantastic. And then I've got a doormat for £2. Trick or treat? Because we can't find our doormats from last year. I'm sure mum got rid of them. So we needed two new ones. I've got one here. And there may be a range haul coming very soon. Um, I got one in there as well. So we've got a new one for the front and back. I said to mum, did you get rid of the Christmas mats last year? And she was like, oh, I don't know. I was like... So it may be that in Christmas time, we'll have to get some more mats. But yeah, I didn't think that was too bad, Two pan. They had a few designs. They had a black one. And I think they had one with like a haunted house on. But again, orange theme, everything like that. Right. Oh, what do I finish on? I don't know. Right. You know that I have been trying to get Halloween foxes for the longest time. Oh my God, my love this. There's some more drinks down here. Oh, let's do these quickly. Got some more Double Dutch. Picked up another margarita and a cucumber watermelon mixer. What a surprise. That was sticking down there. So anyway, I've been trying to get Hello Eve boxes, ain't I? Looked on Etsy. They were like 20 quid. I thought, that's all right. Then you had to pay five a postage and assemble it yourself. I don't want to do that in case I break it. So as soon as you walked into our home bargains... I walked in, my friend was like, Shan, look, because there's something in here that I've been trying to get for years. If you're a regular, you will know that me and mum have been scouring every single home bargain store in the month of September and October to try and find one of these, and we found one. But these, I was like, oh my God, they was next to the thing I'm going to end on, and they were £6. They are Halloween Eve boxes, my lovelies. Look at that. I know it says Halloween treats. And this bit, we've just got to get some chalk to write our names on. But how cute is that? So it's got a little web on there. These are 3D cats here. A 3D cat and a 3D bat. We've got a pumpkin there, Halloween treats. $5.99. So, of course, this is mine and mum's Halloween boxes now. I'm so happy. I know the one on Etsy is like have a bit more design in that. But I don't want to pay £25 and then have to build it myself. And say I do it wrong. That's not going to be good, is it? My lovelies, if you've got children or you want just like, because you haven't got to put a name on here. It's just we're going to do it. I think I'm obviously going to have like Shannon's and I'm going to do like Mama G's. But yeah, if you want this, I highly recommend it. It's a decent size as well. So me and mum are going to be on the hunt. She said she's already bought a few bits for mine, which is lovely. Um, we're going to do like a little Halloween box. So maybe, well, it will be on the eve of Halloween, Shan. That's a whole thing like Christmas Eve. Yeah, so it may be, maybe not pyjamas because I don't think they fit in there. But I said like maybe if we see like some sweets or a bath bomb, anything like that, that could go in. So yeah, there's a new little uh, treat. So when I do our spend Halloween with us, I think I'll probably start it the night before. 
and we can have our little boxes or will she just want the boxes on halloween not too sure she might not want a halloween box she might want it as a halloween box and still keep christmas eve as the christmas eve box i don't know we'll have to see eh? we'll have to see right do you want the piece to resist odds my lovelies i've got one i finally got one i was literally so excited like when i saw it i did squeal a little bit apologies to the people in my vicinity at that point but yeah you know how long i've been wanting these you know i have been going to every single home bargains and poor mama g we've been scouring the southeast for these and every time someone said to me they're in that store i'd go there sold out when i went in my store i don't know if they just had a delivery but they probably had about 20 there i'm gonna say i did want to buy three or four but don't think i could have justified that if i was in my own place definitely because i would have had ample thing of what i wanted to do but mum i don't think would have liked to have had four of these so i got just the one i was an adult this was 5.99 considering some of the things again i know you do pay a bit more on etsy but i've seen these going for like 15 20 quid on etsy and it's the same thing so i am just i don't know what i'm going to put in here and i don't know if it's going to come out this year but my lovelies if you can get your hands on one of these get them absolutely get them okay because this just brings me so much happiness so much happiness i just love it i finally got one i have finally got one and i feel like i don't want to use it right now i feel like it's been a long time coming trying to find this so it's meant to be used when i move out that first halloween in my own home ah! but my lovelies my bed is well and truly like an orange paint bomb right now so i think that is a blooming good home bargain so so my lovelies i think we've done good i really do think we've done good if you're looking for like last minute halloween bits and bobs get down there quick i'm not gonna lie the christmas stuff is starting to come out and it was coming out when i went in september do i feel it's been a little bit rushed yes i don't want to sound like a negative nelly because we all know i blooming love christmas but I do feel like autumn and Halloween's kind of been skipped a lot this year. And they're just jumping straight to the festivities. Give autumn and Halloween their two months. Well, three months technically. But two months for us, ain't it? I just think it's blooming fantastic. Such great affordable little bits to decorate the house. Like the bit of tinsel for a pound. This is so long. How long are you? Do you tell me? Three metres. Three metres. You can do so much with this. You can just jazz it around your TV, a shelf, anything like that. Make a little display just like brighten things up a little bit i love like oh god just wipe me hands on the thing i love silly things like this people might think shan is absolutely tacky well you can think it's tacky that's your opinion i don't i grew up in the year as i say in the 90s where it was like christmas you had tinsel as you can tell i still love tinsel the things that hang from the ceiling don't do them so much now because when the heating goes on they used to fall and paper chains i've grown up in that era and i don't think i'm ever going to shift it Maybe when I get my own place, I might try and be more adult, but I don't don't think it. Don't hold your breath on it, my lovelies. So, yeah, that is all done. Let's say, I do apologise for looking and sounding a little bit meh, but very stressful. It will all be explained in upcoming videos. But, yes, for now, my lovelies, if you did enjoy that video, you know what to do, guys. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And as I say, leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit? Do you think that the hand with my skull shot glasses on was unnecessary? Do you think the ghost pong was unnecessary? Have you got one of the glass pumpkins? Or was you lucky enough to get it the years before? But yeah, I'm going to say uh, adieu. Take care, stay safe as always. And I shall see you, I think tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.